University leaders tell me about 300 of their students are staying at nearby hotels. This quality suites and sleep in is just one of many they're at. And several students I spoke with say this is not the college life they were expecting or want. Last year, I stayed in the towers, the freshman dorms. But so far this year, NSU sophomore Gabriel Ingram says he's been living in this quality suites hotel, even though he's paying to live in the dorms. I feel like it's unfair because we're paying to be on campus. And Ingram isn't alone. Twins and juniors Cashon and Capri Gaines have been living in the same hotel for the last two weeks. You know, we get free breakfast and all that, so that's cool, but it's kind of like cramped. NSU sending this email to students just weeks before the start of classes. It says they're relocating the roughly 300 upperclassmen to nearby hotels after a high demand for on-campus housing. But the major shakeup, they say, is because of one of its dorms, Babette Hall's North Tower, is closed for renovations. Dr. Leonard Brown is the VP of Student Affairs. He says the project has been planned for the last year, and some students could be at hotels until December or until the end of the school year in May. What do you say to those students who say, I'm paying for tuition, I should be able to stay on campus? We understand that, uh, that you know, there might be um, some inconvenience and frustration by students, uh, but as we do with all students, we want to work with students to make sure their experience is the best that um, that we can manage it given the situation. For safety reasons, NSU couldn't disclose what hotels the upperclassmen are staying at. But here at the Quality Inn in Norfolk, some students say the experience hasn't been great. People are seeing roaches, holes in the wall. We have uh, been responding to specific concerns that have been raised. But others don't mind staying in a hotel, including sophomore Lamia Shields. I don't like being around everyone, especially me trying to focus this year. And for those without a car, a shuttle is bringing them to class. But even Shields and others admit being six and a half miles away from campus is inconvenient. Taking the shuttle, sometimes it'll be like off schedule. So like you might be late to your class. NSU says they'll bring students back as space opens up. Many of them hoping that happens soon. I really hope that, you know, everyone gets to have that campus experience because right now it's kind of hectic. In Norfolk, Antoinette Elbel, News 3.